Bioluminescence GFP is a green fluorescent protein found in jellyfish. It is composed of 238 amino acids and was discovered in 1962 by Osamu Shinkamura. GFP has come a long way since then in research and development. In 2008, Osamu Sahamura, Roger, T Roger Sien, and Martin Schaupe uh, won a Nobel Prize for chemistry and development of GFP. Along the lines of history, in 1971, intermolecular energy transfer between Acurin and GFP were found in jellyfish. Both are proteins inside of jellyfish bioluminescence. In 1995, post-translational oxidation, big word, don't worry, of, of a sister strain of GFP was found to be four times faster than the normal strain. Um, and in 2003, KFP, which is Kinley fluorescent protein, another protein found in jellyfish, is used for precise tracking the movements of cells, organelles, and proteins. Bioluminescence can be used to analyze infectious diseases through scan technology. GFP molecules are used to mark proteins with fluorescence by inserting it into the cell. There are multiple different strains of bioluminescence and each of them emit a different wavelength. So scientists use the wavelength that the light emits to analyze the data. So this means that since there are multiple, they can use multiple different bioluminescence in one scan and then calculate the different wavelengths to get a cohesive idea of what's going on in the body. It's necessary for the light that's being emitted to be close to the surface of the animal because the wavelengths emitted are dependent on how much um, tissue it has to go through. This form of bioluminescence can be used in bacterial distribution, it can distinguish strains of bacteria, and it can be used to monitor antibiotic therapy. So another beneficial aspect of GFP is that it has rare genetic coding abilities in real time. These non-invasive reports of living cells allows us to be able to target early stage research of things such as cancer. This is very, very beneficial because as Lillian was mentioning, these bioluminescence have different wavelengths and these are able to target cells quicker than current things that doctors use to be able to evaluate cancer. It can also evaluate lead, tox lead compound toxicology. This allows doctors to be able to determine if a patient has lead poisoning quicker than current measures that they are using. People are headed to the bioluminescence GFP research though. And the reason why is because oftentimes jellyfish die during the extraction process. On the other side though, there are methods to extract the bioluminescence from jellyfish that do not kill them or harm them. Also, there are other methods of bioluminescence that do not come from jellyfish. Another reason why people hate the bioluminescence research is because it is extremely expensive, but the high price yields results that are very beneficial in medical treatments and advances in the medical field.